Hello, this is simple and compound interest lesson four. In this, I will continue with the basics of compound interest. In the previous class, I discussed about the rate of interest per annum, compounding annually. Now, what if your rate of interest is R percent per annum, P A per annum, compounded semi annually. S A stand for semi annually. Miss, I'm just writing semi annually. After six months, semi annually half an year. After six months, but it means that R percent per annum compounding semi annually. It means that your principal will change after every six months. Let me take example. Let's say for example, P is rupees thousand initial principal. Rate of interest is twenty percent per annum compounding semi annually. Rate of interest is twenty percent per annum compounding semi annually. Time I am taking two years. I am taking time as two years. So let's say January two thousand twelve. First January two thousand twelve. Your principal would be how much? Compound interest and amount. I am taking this. Let this initial principal was thousand. Now compound interest, because rate of interest is twenty percent per annum compounded semi annually. What is the semi annual rate of interest? This thousand rupees is your principal. Annual rate of interest is twenty percent. So semi annual rate of interest will be ten percent, half. So your compound interest will be R by two percent of thousand. What is R? R is twenty. Twenty by two percent of thousand that is equals to. Hundred rupees, ten percent of thousand hundred rupees. So amount at the end of six month, amount at the end of every six month period, every six month period. First six month this will be eleven hundred. Now first July, it's not after six month because your come. Rate of interest is R plus twenty percent per annum compounded semi annually. This eleven hundred will become the new principal for the next six months. Again, compound interest simple formula. Rate of interest R by two percent of not thousand eleven hundred. Your principal for this particular period of six six months is eleven hundred. This is again one ten. This is going one two one zero. Now first January two thousand thirteen. This one two one zero. Will be your principal for the next six months. Again, compound interest will be R by two percent of one two one zero. That is one twenty one because R is twenty. R by two will be ten. This is one three three one. And first July two thousand thirteen. It's one three three one. Again, R by two percent of one three three one is one thirty three point one one four. Six four point one, that will be your amount at the end of two years. So in this very important thing to observe is that this is the most important observation. You have to understand this table. In exams, you don't have to make this table. This table is just for the understanding of compound interest concept. Whenever Your rate of interest is R percent per annum compounded semi annually. Your principal, compound interest, your amount will increase, arrow up arrow increase by R by two percent, R by two percent every six month. This is the concept that you need to understand. That's why I have made the table. This table is just to understand this concept: principal, compound interest, amount increased by R by two percent every six months. As you can see, this your initial principal was thousand. In six months, it is increased by R by two. That is, R by two percent increase. R was twenty. R by two would be ten. Again, ten percent increase. Again, ten percent. Same with compound interest. Is increasing every six months by ten percent. Your amount is also increasing by ten percent every six months. 
Why 10 10%? Because your rate was 20%. 20 by 2 half will be 10%. So very important, your principal compound interest amount will increase by R by 2% every 6 months. Now, what will the basic formula for amount after N years? Amount after N years. Whenever the rate of interest is R% per annum compounded semi-annually. Can I say this is amount after 2 and 6 months? 2 and 6 months periods. This amount will be because your initial principal P will grow by R by 2%. Your principal will go by, grow by R by 2% for 2 and 6 months. That will be general formula. So very important. Compounding semi-annually this will be formula. What if we want to calculate the formula for, let's say, we will apply the same logic for compounding quarterly. For example, if rate of interest is R% percent per annum compounded quarterly. Quarterly means your principal will change after every three months. In this case, what I will say, your my principal compound interest amount will increase by R by 4% because R% percent is the annual rate of interest for 3 months that is quarter rate of interest will be R by 4% every 3 months or quarter and what will be general formula amount after n years will be equal to your initial principal will increase grow or increase by r by 4 percent r by 4 percent r by 4 into 100 for n years will contain how many quarters one year contain four quarters so n years will contain one year four quarters 4q n years will contains four n quarters so you, your principal will increase for four n three months periods your answer will be this so you can calculate the this formula for every kind of r percent per annum whether it's quarterly whether it's semi-annually or annually what if rate of interest is r percent per annum compounded monthly Same logic will apply your principal compound interest amount will increase by R by 12% every month because monthly rate of interest will be R by 12. This R is annual rate of interest because it is compounded monthly R by 12 will be your interest rate every month. And the formula will be amount after n years or 12 n months because every year contained 12 months will be equal to principal will increase by r by 12 percent for 12 n months. So that is you can always calculate the formula for every kind of compounded period. So I will just revise the concept in the previous chapter as well as this chapter. Rate of interest I am taking on this side. Rate of interest, principal, compound interest amount will increase, increase and formula. Rate of interest is R percent per annum compounding annually. If rate of interest is R percent per annum compounding annually, just revising the entire concepts. Whenever the rate of interest is R percent per annum compounding annually, your principal compound interest amount will increase by R percent every year. And formula will be AN is equals to principal will increase by r percent for n years this is a basic formula of calculate the amount
वेन एवर आर रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट आर परसेंट पर एन एम कंपाउंडिंग सेमी एनुअली सेमी एनुअली योर नो रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज आर परसेंट पर एन एम एनुअल रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज आर परसेंट बट सेमी एनुअल रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट विल बी आर बाई टू सो योर प्रिंसिपल कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट अमाउंट विल इंक्रीज बाय आर बाय टू परसेंट एवरी ईयर एंड द फॉर्मूला विल बिकम्स पी इंटू वन प्लस आर बाय टू इंटू हंड्रेड पावर टू एन सेम वे यू रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट पर एन एम कंपाउंडेड क्वार्टरली क्वार्टरली दिस विल इन आर बाय फोर बिकॉज आर परसेंट इज योर एनुअल रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट फॉर एवरी क्वार्टर रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट विल बी आर बाय फोर योर प्रिंसिपल कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट अमाउंट विल इंक्रीज बाय आर बाय फोर परसेंट एवरी ईयर अमाउंट विल बी पी इंटू वन प्लस आर बाय फोर इंटू हंड्रेड पावर फोर एन सो दिस वे यू कैन कैलकुलेट फॉर मंथली आल्सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ कंपाउंड एंड सिंपल इंटरेस्ट इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास I will discuss the examples on compound interest. Uh, understanding those examples will make your concept better clear. The, as how to apply the these formulas in question. Thank you.